was one of those kids who would refuse to get on the school bus or be wailing and everyone in the block would know that this girl is finally going off to school at 5.30am. If you ask me what was my favourite subject, I would say recess. Fried chicken wings, ice cream, five cents, sweet drinks. A couple of us would used to go down to the field and we'd kick about a coconut, right, just to play soccer. And then after that, there was a big drain filled with mud. So we would climb on the vines and swing across just to come back for class. I think a couple of us just landed in the mud. Geography and English, I, was, I wasn't the best student. But when I was in maths class, I think there's this teacher that I really like. I would be the most attentive girl. Like, you know, I was always seated at the front. I always ask her questions. Look for her even when I didn't have a question. <laughs> yeah. The teachers were very, very encouraging. And even when I made mistakes, you know, they were very compassionate, very kind, they reminded us to, to work hard and give us opportunity to develop our leadership. The teachers would always remind us to be resilient in what we do, to one day see the fruits and not to give up. It shaped me to be the kind of uh, believer that I need to be. My teachers were not just interested in how I was going to perform academically, but the kind of person I was becoming. And so that, to me, has been the most distinct thing. It's not just about doing well, but about doing good. To me, I'm very aware that the students I teach are effectively my juniors. So they are, you know, however big the age gap gets, always going to be like younger sisters. I've gone through these experiences and I can in some ways I feel identify with my students a little bit better. I'm not just here to teach a subject, I'm here to help my students be good people. The notion of giving back has always been on my mind. When I went into teaching, ultimately the goal was to always come back here. I think this place is, is home. And their senior, you know, when you tell them that the students relate to you, they're like, huh, Miss O, oh, you're from this school? There's just a lot of topics that, that just come up naturally. And they allow you to speak into their lives. And I think uh, there's nothing more precious than that. It was heartening because I, I could actually work with the people that actually cared for me. And now serving beside them, I see the other side of what drives them. Coming back to St. Margaret's, it's really like coming home. The atmosphere is different. It's really amazing, even when I have colleagues coming from other schools, they say that this place is really different. People are very giving, very caring. The mission school environment is totally different because the teachers can pray for the students. When they ask for prayer, I think it's a privilege that you can be there to say a prayer for them, to hear their struggles, you know, to hear their joy, to celebrate with them. What makes it all worthwhile is the students. Watching them grow from start to end, whether I'm in the classroom, whether I'm on the field, watching that growth process, I think that's the most rewarding thing about my job. I feel that there's a lot of uh, values that are being taught that are unique to just Anglican schools, like the concept of servant leadership. That's telling people, you know, hey, be sacrificial, you know, you want to work hard so that you make lives better for others. It is my hope that students who come into the Anglican schools experience the love of God. And it's not about spending every moment sharing the gospel, it's about living out the gospel. When they pass through our hands, we have the responsibility to develop them as what God wants them to be. We may not see immediate results, but maybe 10 years, 20 years down the road, we can see that uh, whatever we have put in, uh, will bear fruit. There'll be a lot of changes to come, you know, even buildings, even uh, policies and all that. But it's not about us, it's about what God is doing in the school. And you know that you come back to a, a family where you work together and you encourage each other, remind each other of our mission. I think that's so special. It's a calling and a mission. <laughs>